Hey. All right, you guys don't know, I just tried to record this intro three times and I forgot the mic wasn't plugged in, so... How's it going? It's Mirage. It is 8 p.m. on October 19th. And... Lots going... Is a lot going on? I don't really know. It's like 8 p.m., but the 9 p.m. post demons came out already. A little early tonight, so... I got this new vlogging tripod, and it hangs off doors and stuff like that, which is really cool. So we're going on a little walk at night and see how this goes and talk about stuff. So yeah. Oh, Dude, I like walked outside for, I should like hold this high, right? I walked outside for 20 seconds and somebody's passing me and like the uh, introvert side of me like shut down while walking. I was like fumbling with the camera. I was like, I was fucking nervous as shit, dude. Contrary to unpopular belief, I am like a shut-in, neat. Like if I didn't have to go into the city for work, I'd low key just be inside all the time. That's the truth about it. I don't even know where I'm walking tonight, but we're walking. There's a lot of cars out tonight, so. Let's walk this way. And not get hit by a car. People are putting out decorations, which is fun. I sort of just realized that I can't take pictures because I'm recording myself, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, it's one of those nights, going on a walk. I've been like meaning to want to like do like outside vlogs like this for a while, but usually I'm just too nervous to do so. Cause like, especially in New York City, there's so many people in New York City, you can never really get like a quiet moment. And like, I always see vlogs, and I'm like, wow, that seems so nice. And it's like, I feel like in New York, everybody's in your fucking business. So they're like, what the fuck's that guy doing? And they give you a look. So it's kind of weird, but it's not too bad. Where I worked though, yesterday, it was yesterday or two days ago. Car, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. All right, the amount of times I've just been walking around trying to record and talk, and then like more than two people walk by me, and I have like a nervous breakdown, and I just like shut off the camera and start walking silently, just fiddling. It's like crazy. I think I, I honestly, Bochi the Rock's hitting harder in retrospect than I thought it did. Like, I did not think I had this sort of, like, social anxiety when doing anything. But I guess I do. I thought I was fine. Maybe I should have had, like, a beer before I did this. That would have helped a lot. Because then I wouldn't have given this fuck. But, like, there's also way more people than I expected at night here. Because I'm in a neighborhood. I guess it's because it's a neighborhood that there's so many people. But also, like, I don't know. I never really walked down this area too. It's super nice and quiet. But at the same time, like anything in the city, you gotta be really vigilant when it's nice and quiet because some dude could just come out of nowhere and just like beat the shit out of me and take my camera. And I don't want that to happen either. Also, I'm cold. I should have worn more layers. That's why I just started like stuttering when I was speaking because I'm cold. Probably also because I'm nervous. Ah, uh, it's probably both. Not that nervous. There's a playground here. Wait, can I just sit in there and just chill? Wait, that sounds sus. Never mind. Never mind. But yeah, it's one of those nights. So I've been wanting to do like these sort of vlogs for a while. And like, I don't know. Just going to get the right timing. I think what I've been struggling a lot with lately is like motivation for anything. Because Loki, I think things have been going pretty well. And like according to plan, but like... When things go well in the coordinate plan, I get nervous. I don't get nervous, I just get more like demotivated because I don't have to try as hard. 
don't know if that makes any fucking sense, but like, low key, work hasn't been nearly as bad as it was for a few months. And like, that's been going well. I got this camera. It's been super fun just taking pictures and just doing new shit. And then like also with, um, I don't know. What do you call it? Uh, like, I'm like a month away from like anime and I've seen a bunch of different things. So I'm super excited for that as well. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on and it's been good. So I guess I should be grateful because of that. But, um, yeah, I never really walked down this area. It's so dark. I actually wonder how this looks. I, ha I don't have the flip screen out. Because I feel like when you have the flip screen out, you're kind of like used to just like staring at yourself. Oh my god, I'm so dark. <laughs> oh fuck. This shit is not helping. What is this? Alaris Health at the Atrium? It's like a retirement home. I should like up the expo not exposure. See, this is the only issue that I had with this lens too that I was thinking of. Is that it's kind of high aperture. So the light doesn't really pick up well at night. My fucking forehead is so far out, dude. That's what I get from middle parting. So he works in the yellow light, but like, I don't know. Maybe I should just like go into this parking lot and record myself like a fucking schizo and meet the alley cats. We have so many alley cats here, by the way. It's crazy. There's like five of them that live in my backyard. Well, it's not in my backyard. It's like the uh, space behind my backyard. But they're so cute. And they're always sleeping on the cars that sit, sit back there. I can't fucking speak, dude. They're always sitting on the cars back there. And it's like so cute. But uh, yeah, there's an old Porsche 911 right here. This isn't that old. This is a 997. I love this generation, because this is like sort of my generation. I guess, kind of. It's like the generation I remember the most growing up. Like, late 2000s. They're beautiful cars. I wish I could have a Porsche one day, bro. Maybe if I make it big. But, before I make it big, I need to know how to make a vlog. And I need to like, raise my arm instead of doing ugly chin shots like this the entire time. But yeah. Just walking around. I need just to walk around. Like, lately I've just been like, I'll finish work at home, and then like straight up I will just sit there in my chair and kind of waffle around for another like three hours before I go to sleep. I think that's the other thing I've been struggling with like motivation-wise, right? Because when you're demotivated, you obviously don't do shit. And it's not like I've been like sad or anything. I think it's because I've been content with things, and then you get in like, get back into the sort of thing I struggled with for a while, which is like... I don't know, um, like, how do I describe it? So I, before I went to Tokyo, before I had this job, I had like a routine, right? And I'd do that routine every day. I'd work from home, I'd get off work, I'd read a manga, I'd watch an anime, I'd watch a movie, blah, 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 right? And that got really repetitive, it got really boring because obviously like, I'm just not doing anything. And that kind of sucked. And I got kind of like really demotivated to do anything because I was just like stuck in it. And when you're stuck in it, you get kind of comfortable. So, I don't know. I'm just going to keep waffling around though. Dude, all the Halloween decorations are coming out. It's so pretty. I love Halloween. Halloween's my mom's birthday. It's actually such a nice night out. I really love fall because it's just like 60 degrees and you can just wear long sleeve clothes and you can layer shit up and make nice outfits instead of sweating your fucking balls off in the uh, in the New York City subway because that's a piece of shit for some reason. But, God, it's like perfect weather. Also, it doesn't feel muggy out. I remember like September, I wanted to make these vlogs and it was just so muggy out. Like It was like 100% humidity, 70 degrees, which just feels disgusting. It's like not what you want before you go to sleep. There's so many decorations. I really want that Porsche. Please give me the Porsche. 
dude, I wish like one day I like met some random rich person and we became good friends. And then like, they just like gave me inheritance. I gotta, I gotta get into like a gigolo job, Loki. That'd be my next chapter. This working shit isn't for me. Can't do it anymore. I've only been doing it for like two years and I'm done. It's all right though. I actually just hit six months at my job last week. And like I felt that. I was like, holy shit, it's been six months. This has been quite... It's like the longest six months of my life, dude. Unironically. I said I've been doing a lot in these last six months, but also like just a lot emotionally. Been going through a lot. And not like anything... Well, I, mean, I guess it's major in my life, but like not really anything like worrisome or anything, but I don't know. I feel like I gotta like, this lens isn't wide enough either. I gotta like stretch out my arms more. Maybe if I, there's a uh, thing I can do. It's like make it into a selfie stick. I don't want to do it now because if I like unlatch this, I'm going to drop my camera and I'm going to cry. I don't want to cry on camera. It's kind of cringe. I just walked in a circle, I just realized. I think I'm walking in circles, so I'm trying to avoid people as much as I can. Dude, can I go in the park or not? Is it closed? I kind of just want to chill in there. They have a bunch of skateboarders, which is really sick. I do like skateboard tricks and recording. I'm so dark right now. Holy shit. I need like... I could bump up the ISO because then it gets super noisy. No, the park is fucking closed. It's over, bros. It's so over. It's never been more over. There's like a giant whale in the park. Wait, that's so cute. Wait, I don't know. That thing right there, it's like a whale. It's like, obviously, if I zoom in, it's going to turn up the aperture even more because it's like a variable aperture and it's going to make the picture even darker, but there's like a little whale ride thing. It's so cute. Oh, I didn't even know we had a full skate park here. Dude, skateboarding is so cool. I wish I knew, but at the same time, I'm too scared of like busting my ass or hurting myself. I think that was like my fear as a child. Just like hurting myself at all. Like I never want to play football. I never understood the appeal of football because I'm like, why would you ever like want to just like, you know, give yourself a concussion and shit or like break your head. So I don't like ever having to like play goalkeeper for, uh, for soccer or even playing defender in soccer. I would never go for a header or anything, dude. Like I was just like, nah, I'm not trying to hurt myself. I love walking down this area though. This old downtown area in Jersey City, just it just hits. Is this free furniture? This is so nice. I kind of like that. But yeah. I don't know, despite my... Uh, despite my wants to go to Tokyo and everything, I really do love Jersey City. Always felt really homey to me. Good neighborhood. Good location. I'll definitely miss this place once I... Uh, eventually do it. They also like built a bunch of like new little spots here. Like this new coffee shop literally right here that I did not see at all on the map. See, because I'm like a shut-in, right? I don't actually go out and explore shit. I have to like look at Google Maps and I have to see on Google Maps like, oh, new coffee shop or, you know, food place number three. And then, oh my God, it's fucking windy. And then I'll actually go when I'm ready. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. I just need to walk around, get some fresh air, talk about some shit. You know how it is. There's nothing down there. It's all right, though. Anyways, it's been Raj. We'll be back on Saturday, no, Sunday, because Mr. Tooley is coming down. We're going to New York City, we're going window shopping because we can't afford the shit that we're going to look at, but we're going to window shop for it. 
and it's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be in Soho. We'll be taking fit pictures. You know how it is for the gram. So, see you guys on Sunday or whenever I edit that video. Cause I actually kind of like editing stuff now. I'm like learning adventures all. But that's it for this waffle vlog. Thanks for watching. As always, I love you guys. Peace.